All right, welcome to this video on my view board on moving and selecting objects. As you notice, the arrow right now is selected the square. And so if I click on it and I drag or click and drag from the corner, I'm able to draw different objects. You know, whatever object I choose, I'm able to put that on the page. Now, if I choose the shape icon again, you'll notice that I'll have different shapes whether it's 3D shapes, whether it's line, or whether it's tables. Now, to move an object, we're going to use the Select tool. The Select tool is located right here, and it allows us, with this arrow, to be able to touch the object so we can move it and place it wherever we like. If we like to resize it, we can select the whole object, so this little yellow dot line will follow us, and we can pull from the sides. So if we pull from the sides, we can pull in, resize in, resize up and down. Or if we use the arrows in the four corner on the three corners, I'm able to pull them to get it the same dimension so that I don't get an odd shape. It keeps it perfectly proportional the whole way through. Now to select an object, I can hold it in the middle to touch it or I can select a part of it to be able to move it so that you have the ability to move the object as you like. This same thing happens with text. If I click on the T for text and I tap the page, I'm able to type. So if I go and type my name, once I use the select tool, which is this one again, right here, once I use the select tool, I'm able to choose the text again, be able to move it, resize it to whatever size I like and then if I tap it again I'll be able to go through and change the text however way I like so the ability to be able to type in here using that inserting an image will be from the magic box if I click on the magic box and then I go to images I can search for an image so if I type in cat and the search. I can take the image of the cat and use the image on the screen in the same way as before using the select tool. I will have the ability to be able to move the image and size the image to whatever dimensions I want to be able to pull it and resize. So now if I go through and I want to make sure that I am touching it, I'm able to pull it, move it, I'm able to size it. All these things can be done together with the select tool. 